Okay, so what I'm going to be teaching you in this video is my process that I use to find highly profitable Airbnb rental arbitrage leases. Um, quite a mouthful, but uh, so anyone out there that's doing rental arbitrage uh, through Airbnb and creating an Airbnb business and uh, has been taught this model, um, it can be a very lucrative uh, way of, of making money and, and um, you know, I did, I've done it myself. I have quite a few contracts that are rental arbitrage. However, it is one of the ways, uh, um, the, the, it's the one business model that has the highest risk of failure when it comes to Airbnb uh, because you are signing a lease. That means you're taking on a, a, an expense uh, for that entire year. And it's not just the lease that you have to pay for. There's a lot of other expenses that come along with it. And so when you do the rental arbitrage model, you are putting yourself at a very high risk. You're taking on a lot of expenses and you really want to make sure that uh, you're going to be making more than that that lease and all the other profitable rental arbitrage lease. Uh, let's get rid of the leases. So I guess you can find more than one. Our objective, locate highly profitable vacant units, right? So we wanna find the actual locations where there isn't uh, a, a, a anybody staying there and there's an empty unit and a landlord needs somebody to go in there and we shall come up to them with the option of a rental arbitrage lease, right? Now, um, to fully understand exactly how to get to this, um, there's a, I made another 20 plus minute video <clears throat> yesterday that went over um, how to track all a, and record all of the properly managed and active listings in a given area. I'm going to give a quick run through of exactly how to do that once again, uh, but you can look at the previous video that is talking about how to find a $100,000 plus uh, annual revenue Airbnbs. So I apologize, this is my second video on YouTube. Um, I don't know how to pop that one up so that you can check it before. It's the first video I've ever put on YouTube. If you just go there and, and check it out, you'll be able to see it. So, but I will walk you through the uh, cliff notes of it right now. So we're gonna use AirDNA to record all property uh, properly managed and active listings in a given area. We're gonna do this because we wanna find an average um, for for a certain area to know exactly how profitable it's going to be. Okay, so first we need to know what the annual revenue is going to be to be able to work all the numbers backwards. Then once we work all the numbers backwards, we can move forward and try and find uh, the location rather than finding the location then working the numbers backwards. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so this is uh, Air DNA's mar market minder. I've purchased Chicago. Um, it gives you all of these different uh, little uh, things that you can review here. It's all of the information on Chicago. I strongly recommend, you can buy it for any city that you're in, um, but I do strongly recommend it for whatever city you're gonna be in. It's the cheapest option that's out there if you're a first timer, a newbie, uh, just trying to get you, you, you know uh, into the game. Uh, you need to at least purchase this before you sign a lease. It's, you know, it's gonna cost you a max $100. Um, and uh, you know, signing a lease is gonna cost you in the thousands and thousands. So it makes a lot, sen lot, a lot of sense to just Purchase, uh, purchase this and go from there. Okay, so quick run through. You got the three different types of uh, uh, Airbnbs that you can have. This is a shared room. I'm gonna take that off. Uh, this one here is a private room. We're gonna take those off. You can see all the blues will disappear. Uh, and then what we wanna do is we just wanna, you wanna track whichever size unit that you're comfortable with going for. So if you wanted to just find all of the uh, five bedroom plus homes, in a given area, what you would do is get rid of all of these, so now they're all grayed out, and now I can see these are all the five bedroom homes in Chicago, and what you can do is you, you go to the neighborhood that you wanna go into, and you want to hover over uh, the, the listing. You can zoom up, I'm not gonna do that right now, uh, and you click on it, and what it does is it gives you the number of days that it's been active, uh, the average daily rate, the occupancy, and the, the revenue, and what you wanna do is record all this information, okay? You wanna record it, um, I have a very, detailed video uh, that's 20 minutes plus that walks you through exactly how to do this and uh, explains to you what's important to look for, what to what to avoid. This one I would completely avoid just simply because of the 60 days. Once again, watch the previous video and you'll be able to get that information and know exactly how to do this. What you end up with is is something that looks like this. Okay, so uh, this is my Air DNA tracking from over two years ago. So this is uh, when I first got started and how I originally did it. I tracked all of the information, mainly the revenue, the, the place, the occupancy, the rate, the, the size of the home, um, and information on it, right? 
And what I was able to do is I, I track all this information, I record it, and then I find the averages for any given area. And so what I do is I take the four, all the four bedrooms and I plug in what their uh, annual revenue would be. This number here is the annual revenue, so it's not $93, it's $93,000 that it would make, right? So I track all the, uh, the, the revenue here. Um, and then what I do is I, I use the formula um, to find the average, right? So, you know, equals average all of those cells and it tells me what the average is for this given area, okay? So this is, once again, in the other video, um, it's what you have to do first to be able to get to the point of what we're going to be talking about today, which is the process for finding highly profitable rental arbitrage leases. So once you've completed this first process of recording all of the properly managed and active listings in a given area, um, you can then move on to the next step, which is using the average annual revenue to calculate the max rent uh, you can pay and still be profitable. So what we're trying to do here, the most important thing, is figure out what the max rent is that we can pay a landlord and still be profitable, okay? Because you can very easily sign a lease with a landlord and not make any profit on it because the amount of revenue that you make from that location does not, uh, uh, is, is not enough to cover the, the, the rent and all the additional expenses. And so what I'll show you right now is how I go about figuring out the max rent. Okay, this is extremely important and what you need to do before you sign any lease. So now that I have all of the averages um, for a given area uh, using MarketMinder, I know what I can expect from certain locations. Now what I'm gonna show you is uh, uh, something I haven't taught yet. Uh, it's a little more, it's a lot more in depth, uh, but essentially it breaks down you know, every neighborhood in Chicago um, and then it breaks it down by the bedroom, bathroom count. So that's a one bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, one and a half bath. Uh, and what we're gonna be talking about today is I'm gonna use this number here. So this is a two bedroom, two bath in the near north side of Chicago. Um, and the average annual revenue for this is 77,000. Please do not try and figure out what this is or how I did this. Um, I will get to it on a later date. Just use this process here. It's, it's accurate as well. It's just a, it, it's a little more legwork to get to this point. Um, and so anyways, so it's the same idea. Uh, you know, if I open this up uh, and I look at the details of this, I have um, all of the listings that I tracked and this number, the 77,000 that we're looking at, that is the average of all of those uh, that I tracked. Now, I apologize, you saw me click this button, you're wondering, you know, why isn't anything happening? My computer is extremely slow. So here are all of the, the two bedroom, two baths in that given area, and I have all the, the, the data on them, and I used the average uh, for that area to figure out exactly how much they would make, right? So we have 77,000 is, is what we're looking at. So what you need to do from here so first what we need to do is calculate the actual profit. So what I mean by that is we need to type in here what our revenue is gonna be, and now I'm gonna round it just to make life easier, okay? So we know we can make 77,000 from a two bedroom, two bath in near north side, okay? So 77,000 and change. Um, and so that's, our, that's gonna be our Airbnb income, that's our revenue, and that's on an annual basis. Now, what we need to do next is our first expense, our made, the biggest expense is going to be our cleaning fee, right? Now, I'm going to assume that you're going to be using a company. Uh, you know, if you are going to pay somebody or do it yourself, then these numbers are going to change. But for this scenario, let's say you're just going to pretend that we're going to be using a company because I'm going to assume that you eventually want to get to having 10, 20 listings, um, you know, or, or, or more, and you're going to need a company to be able to do that. Uh, I'll get to later videos that teach you how to actually create your own cleaning company. So um, now the cleaning fee, I know that there's gonna be roughly, uh, I, uh, for, for this home here, it's gonna be roughly about $100 to clean this. Uh, I'm gonna times that by eight turnovers. It's gonna be about eight different uh, cleanings every single month. Um, I'm gonna throw some brackets around that. Uh, and then what we're gonna do when that number comes out, we're gonna times that by uh, 12 so we get the full annual amount. And what we end up getting here is 9,600. And that's very accurate, that's what you can expect. Um, so now I have the, the cleaning fee, I know what that's gonna work out to be. Now the amenities, I know the amenities are about $100 a month. Um, and so that's gonna cost me uh, over 12 months. So that's gonna be about 1,200. Uh, the water bill is, you know, most of the time you're not going to have the water bill that's going to be the landlord that's going to pay for that. So I'm actually going to leave that empty. Uh, at least for here in Chicago, that's how it works. If your city's different, then, you know, plug it in. 
but for what we're doing, I'm just I'm going to use actual information. So electricity is going to be around uh, 150 a month. I'm going to times that by 12. Now gas is probably going to be a little bit more, and truthfully, electricity is going to be actually a little bit less. Um, but what I want to do here, just for easy numbers, is I'm going to do both of them by by 12, uh, so that we can get the the uh, this. Uh, sorry, I'm going to do each of them by 150 dollars a month it comes out to be fairly accurate. Now, pool service, I know there's no pools in this area. I know there's no lawn in the, uh, lawns in this area. I don't provide cable for my, my tenants, so I'm just gonna leave that out. Um, but I'm gonna add in the internet. The internet's gonna be about $60 a month, and I'm gonna times that by 12 again. Um, and then we're gonna get our, our 720. Now, there's gonna be a streaming service. I am gonna provide them with Netflix. It's gonna be a business expense. It's about $12 a month uh, over 12 months. Now maintenance, uh, maintenance is it, it varies depending on where you are, how old the old home is, things like that. Uh, I just for for my own self, I like to put in a hundred dollars, just assuming that I'm gonna have to put some sort of maintenance in. You know, if I don't have to, that's great. If I do, um, uh, if I have to put more in than than the hundred dollars, so be it, right? But uh, anyway, so we're gonna put that in there, and we come up with a uh, uh, hundred and twelve. Now property management fee. This is if you plan on having. Uh, plan on doing property management yourself or if you're if there's going to be a fee whatever it may be in this case once again it's not there uh, property taxes this is if you're the actual landlord I'm not the actual landlord so I'm going to ignore that uh, now Airbnb service fees is the next one that pops up this is all uh, if it's by the way if you're seeing yellow here it's because it's already um, uh, a formula has already been added in here now we know that Airbnb takes three percent from hosts so you can see here that I have D5. This is the, uh, that's this here. That's the annual revenue, D5, right? Um, and I'm timesing it by 3%. And that gives me the total that I'm going to pay Airbnb from there. Now my total expenses are going to come out to $18,774. I'm just going to make it a, the accounting version so you can get a better look at what that actually is. So you can see we're, we're spending, uh, you know, just under $19,000. Which means out of the 77 that uh, I'm going to bring in from Airbnb, my profit that's going to be left is 58,000. Now, mind you, we do not know what the rent is, and that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, but first we need to get rid of all of these expenses that are going to come along with managing an Airbnb, right? So when you guys go and sign leases, you know you may be spending, say, the lease is a thousand dollars, where you're just signing on twelve thousand dollars that you have to give away to somebody else. That's a $12,000 liability, but on top of that, you're also going to have all these expenses that come along with uh, running an Airbnb. And so that's going to work out to be about $18,000 on top of whatever your, your lease is, right? So we want to make sure we're keeping track of that and not ignoring that because that could be all of your profit if you don't calculate it. So our profit here is going to be about $58,228. Now, what we want to do is figure out the max rent. This is the, the, the most important part here. We want to figure out this max rent. So... If you have your profit, you, we, we know our profit's about 58000 and what we want to do um, uh, is minus what I want to keep, okay, what you want to keep. Now, I'm not using technical uh, accounting terms here. I just want to keep this very, very simple um, so you don't have to try and you know, figure this out. What we're doing is we're minusing what you want to keep. So what you want to add in here is how much of this money do you want to keep, right? And in this scenario, I want to keep $20,000. So when I put in $20,000 is what I want to keep, what we're going to see the total remaining is going to be about 38,226, right? Now, the we're going to have month the months that we're going to have is 12 months, right? So this is already added in. Um, and and what this is do what this is calculating here, the max rent is calculating is it's taking the total remaining, okay? So this 20,000 is going to be minus from our profit and we're going to get the whatever's left over and this leftover is what we can spend on rent, right? So this is how much we know we can spend. We got to figure out how much that is on a monthly basis because that's how everything is advertised online and we can see that we can spend $3,185 on rent. So I now know that my max rent is 313200 if I want to make 20,000, all right? So what I'm going to do from here is I'm then going to go to the next step, right? So so let's go back all the way back over here to our steps. We we figured out what the average annual revenue is going to be from tracking the properties on AirDNA. Uh, we were able to f use that average annual revenue to calculate the max rent. Uh, so you can uh, it, it, to to figure out you know how profitable it's going to be. So we now know what our max rent is. And now what we want to do is use uh, we want to actually find a listing that's within our max rent range 
and we're going to use Zillow or Craigslist or PadMapper, whatever, to uh, locate profitable locations, right? So what I'm going to do over here, so I already loaded the near north side because my computer is slow, so I want to make sure that you guys don't have to wait for that lag time. Um, so this is the near north side of Chicago, pretty well, you know, within the water range here, the river over here, the lake over here, it's in this little circle um, right over here. So I already have a two bedroom, two bath. You can see that that's a plus bath. So maybe some bigger bathrooms. I do have uh, uh, for rent in here, okay? So it's just homes that are for rent. Now I made it 10,000 just to clear out the listings that are gonna show up, just so you can see where I'm showing you, kind of show you the boundaries uh, we, that we wanna keep it within this range, okay? That's because this, this is where the, the data is pulled from. This is the you know where I tracked. You'll see that in the earlier video. Um, and so I wanna make sure that that is uh, uh, cleared up so you can see that. So let's go over here. And let's type in, um, you know, our, our lowest price, our minimum price is going to be $0, but our max price is going to be, I'm going to go 32, I'm going to round up, I'm going to lose a little bit out of the 20,000 that I want to keep, but I'm going to round up to 32 for easy numbers. And when I click done, what's going to happen is all these listings, all that's going to be remaining here, okay, you just give it a second because I can see there's still some that aren't supposed to be here. Um, all that's remain should remain is anything that's in the 32. There we go. So anything that's uh, that the, the max rent for all of these listings here is going to be 3,200. Now you can see that some of them are below. We have a 2,600 right here. We have a 2,900 over here. 26, 28, 32, 20, uh, 26. All these different. So everything we're seeing here. Okay. I want you to realize that every single listing that is seen in this spot right here can make you $20,000 of actual profit that you get to keep, okay? I'm gonna come back over here and make sure you guys get that. So the profit that we would get, so this, a, a two bedroom, two bath in that area is gonna make 77,000. We're gonna have all of these expenses by running that as a full-time Airbnb, because it's a business. These are our business expenses, right? And that's gonna keep, we're gonna be left with 58,000. Out of that 58,000, we want to keep 20,000. So this is the money that we're just going to, we're going to keep. We want, you know, that's going to be in our pocket. We want to make $20,000. If we're going to run this as a full-time Airbnb, we want to make sure that we're making money. Uh, 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 we want to make sure we're making $20,000 profit, right? Now the total remaining is going to be 38,000. We take that 38,000 and we put it towards the rent. There's 12 months. And so what we get is 3,185, right? So that means that if I can find rent, uh, find a property where the rent is a max of 3200 then any of these will make me $20,000 of profit on an annual basis, right? Money I get to keep. So there you go. That's a highly profitable Airbnb when you do the rental arbitrage model. Um, you, you're you able to, to, to know exactly how much you're going to, you should make as long as you manage the property property properly, right? You, you manage it well, you do it well. There's a, a, a whack load of resources that are out there that can help you do exactly that. Um, but this is now the, the quickest way to be able to approach any of these guys and tell them, I will rent out your home and I will sign on a lease because I know that I'm going to make $20,000 after all of the expenses that come along with it. And I know that because I followed the process <clears throat> and I and I now can locate highly profitable Airbnb homes on the rental arbitrage model. So our objective was to locate them and uh, we did. So I hope this was a helpful video. I hope that you uh, walk through it uh, and, and you know make these tracking sheets just like I did and please watch the previous video to make sure that you're doing it properly and not recording the wrong information. All right, so if you guys have any other questions, just reach out to me. I'm gonna have my contact information at the bottom. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, two years actually, not that, not, not that long. But uh, I, have, I do have uh, highly profitable Airbnb units. And uh, in some cases, you know, I make more than $20,000 a year. So um, please use this process because I do not want you to sign a lease that will lose you money.